This is News Always On. Commerce Secretary Wilbur Ross said the US government has reached a deal with Chinese telecommunications giant ZTE, and that includes a $1 billion fine. ZTE has already paid about $1 billion for selling equipment to North Korea and Iran in violation of US sanctions. In April, the department blocked ZTE from importing any US components for seven years, which threatened to put the company out of business. The Wall Street Journal said that with the ZTE matter settled, China's government will likely approve a deal for Qualcomm to buy NXP semiconductors. Qualcomm added 0.9% to $60.38, and NXP rose 5.6% to $120.96. This is the first time that I'm aware that a major foreign company has been brought into strict compliance with U.S. export control rules. This is a public quote, publicly quoted company. It had had a $30 billion market cap before we took our action. The, the shareholders and will we'll take care of the new board and the new management. The okay. part that we will take care of is the key part. It's not our job to make cell phones. It is our job to make sure that they don't violate sanctions. And that's why we'll be putting our own compliance regime in and our own compliance people. Suddenly Europe in, in the month of June is putting in all sorts of safeguard actions. Well, where were they a year ago? Where were they two years ago? We've been fighting that fight ever since the Trump administration came in and we have now one-fourth of all the trade actions that the U.S. has total from ever have been brought under this administration. For more news updates, subscribe to our channel.